Howdy mates. Good afternoon. How are we all doing? Here is my fourth video for today. I'm actually over at the Lakeshore Trail located at the Whitewater Memorial State Park. This state park was actually devoted to veterans who fought during World War II for individuals who came from this area, whether it was Franklin, uh, Union, counties in Indiana. However, though, there's actually a particular tree, and that's the purpose of the video that I want to point out. So we've got ourselves the American hornbeam right here, as you can see. So to start off, we're going to look at their leaves. When you look at their leaves, it's basically a single leaf, and along the branch, they alternate between each other. And in a way, they actually are a distant relative of the birch, the birches when it comes to trees. So if you look very closely, you can see along the edge, it is rather serrated or toothed. But then that's not the only part. You've also got the actual catkin itself. The, this is called a catkin. Essentially, this is the seed of the tree. So... In due time, these will actually release seeds for dispersal. And I believe it's also valuable for wildlife to also consume these as well. But what's very fascinating about the tree to me is based on the texture of the wood itself. So you may be thinking, you know, if you look at the bark of this tree... Does it remind you of anything? Well, according to many naturalists, the other tree name for this is the ironwood tree, also known as musclewood as well. So it has a couple of separate nicknames that's used for this particular tree. But they call it musclewood based on the fact that if you look very closely at the bark, it kind of reminds you of looking at muscle fibers, like from the human body. And also, it gets its name of ironwood, too, because this is a hard wood. It's very durable. I and mean, actually, point in fact, uh, people have used this wood for two tool handles based on their durability. So these guys are actually very tolerable when it comes to flooding, unlike its other counterpart, the American Hophorn Beam. And hopefully we can stumble upon them while we're out here. But yeah, these guys, they're technically an understory tree. Because as you can see, it only grows probably up to 30 or so feet high. That's about it. So it's still essentially beneath the canopy from the rest of the hardwood trees out here. But this is indeed a native, as a matter of fact. It actually belongs with the hornbeams. Unlike the hop hornbeam that I was mentioning not too long ago, that was actually introduced here from Europe. But yeah, this area of the Whitewater Memorial State Park is actually called the Hornbeam Nature Preserve. Just because this area is so full of these hornbeams that I am speaking of. So, it's reasonable to say, since the hornbeam enjoys some, you know, moist soil, mesophytic, which is just a fancy word for saying the moisture level is kind of intermediate between being very dry and very wet. So... It's like that happy medium, more or less. Like when it, excuse me, when it comes to the pH, I believe they kind of like to be within the normal range. This particular tree, anyways. So, hope you guys can actually stumble upon them, you know, on a trail or something, wherever it is you go. Because that's the name of these trees. They call it the American hornbeam or the musclewood tree. Or the ironwood. So, all right, mates. 
hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to share an article regarding this particular tree. Because you don't really get to stumble upon them too often in their natural habitat. So, all right, mates. Please enjoy your Monday. And once again, Journey on a Journey is outwards. Take care, folks.